Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Um, today we are going to install SQL Developer onto Ubuntu 16.04, and the same thing can be applied for Ubuntu 14.04. Uh, and first of all, why Oracle SQL Developer to be installed? Because it's a GUI version and is very much user friendly. And the same thing is available for Windows also. Uh, it will reduce a lot of Task, it will reduce a lot of uh, manpower and it will also reduce your typing criteria and all these things it's uh, user friendly so we can go for it in a quite a great way for that first of all we need to install uh, uh, so, and download Oracle SQL developer let's start with the browser I'm using Firefox browser to download Oracle SQL developer so going to google.com you can see over here and then after I'm typing it over here SQL developer for Ubuntu that's it it will take quite a while to show me okay so the second link that you see over here is an official link to download um, SQL developer I'm going to click on that After that, I am going to accept the license agreement, but if you wish, you can scroll down the license agreement for, for SQL Developer also. And then, after reading these things, you can come back over here and if you like, you can accept the license agreement. Fine, so it will show you the message that thank you for um, accepting the license agreement and so and so. For now, I am going to download. Uh, SQL developer but you can see over here it's written Linux RPM packages and uh, for right now the RPM stands for Red Hat Package Manager I do not require Red Hat Package Manager I require for other platforms only fine uh, because it will provide me zip file rather than RPM file and I can do a lot of things with zip files so let's give, uh, give it a try with uh, other platforms only so I'm going to click it over here and it says that approximately 314 MBs of data will be downloaded and also JDK 8 or above is required if you do not have JDK 8 or above version of Java uh, then you need to also download the same or you can install the same by looking to my previous video but if you do not want to watch it I don't mind uh, it's okay with it I can show it to you in this video too so not a big deal okay so after this thing you will be prompted for sign in username and password you can either create your account from here after creating an account it will ask you for the activation from the email address you have to do that and after getting activated you can sign in over here and type in the password and then you go after signing in it will just give you a pop-up um, uh, and pop-up will be for the downloaded link that is a zip file for it I have already downloaded it so not to waste much of time for 314 MBs of data uh, internet speed will consume a lot more to have a spacious time to cut short okay so I'm going to download and you can see over here I have already downloaded SQL developer fine uh, but to say you have to create an account and sign in I'm typing it over here if you are not listening to me you have to create account and sign in here fine if you are not listening or do not have the video uh, audio versions to you you can just create an account and sign in here it will just pop it pop up you the download for SQL developer okay so you can see I have already downloaded it and then after downloading it it's a zip file you can see it's written no JRE but whatever it is written we need an JDK installed over and above uh, 8 version 8 so how to install JDK that's our first step so let me show it to you I'm going to open gedit okay for 
okay so here g edit is just for you people uh, after that we need to install i'm just copy pasting it you can just pause it for a moment and type these commands one by one in a terminal if you do not know what is terminal you can press control plus alter plus t fine mm, by pressing it it will pop up a uh, terminal over here you have to step by step copy this or type these commands onto your terminal and then after everything works fine it will install your jdk java after installing these jdk java uh, you need to if you are having multiple java or jdk say for example some of the machines might have jdk 7 6 and 8 installed then which should be the prime most jdk you can select it from these alternatives fine okay so after installing these java um, the second most thing is unzipping this the step two is unzipping this file so open with archive manager i'm going to extract this over to opt folder computer opt and i'm going to paste it over here So you can see the entire extraction process has been successfully completed. Going to close this window and also going to close this window. Mm, let's see if it has been done or not. Okay, so here you can see it's done. I'm going to SQL Developer and you can see this version will also work with uh, Windows operating system as it does have all the preliminary request for windows operating system also so it doesn't matter if you have downloaded for other systems or other platform it comprises of all the packages for windows as well as linux i do not know, don't know about uh, mac os you can search it out on the internet fine okay so the thing is that we need uh, we are focusing on this file actually um, so for that uh, third step that I will go is right click on terminal and uh, after that I am going to give an execution rights to it plus x stands for execute SQL developer SQL developer I am pressing tab and dot sh as we, as we do, do have two files dot exe and dot sh I am going for sh because Linux supports sh files ok so here we go so now it has given a rights for execution mm, the third most step is to provide a link link is something like shortcuts in windows so we need to provide a link soft link to some other location where it can be easily accessed so whenever i type sql developer fine it should execute this file anywhere from the terminal so for that i need a link so how do i generate a link is sudo ln minus s s stands for soft link opt mm, sql developer okay mm. slash opt sql developer and then sql tab tab okay sql developer dot sh and this is my source file where do i need to provide a link is user usr i can show it to you just a moment i'm just increasing this space so that you can see it usr slash local slash bin slash sql developer so whenever you type sql developer it will execute this file and start running it so let's see how we can do it it will ask me for the password doesn't matter I'm entering my password after that um, <coughs> we have to replace certain amount of code otherwise it will show you an error of permission denied so these uh, lines are to be added in this file so how I'm going to do is 
Hmm, let's see. Sudo. Not sudo is required. Uh, you can write directly gedit. Opt SQL developer and then SQL developer dot sh. You can directly write SQL developer dot sh as we are already in the same directory. But for certain cases, some of them are newbies. So I'm typing the entire path where I have actually uh, located this file. So you can see uh, this actually vibrated. That means it has been opened. And here you can see it's going to have such amount of code in SQL developer. I'm going to just comment it for time being and then after I am going to paste this line you can pause it for some time and then uh, after pausing it from this thing you can type these things remember that capital and small letters makes a lot difference so please do be careful for these things that's written over here you can pause it for some time and then type these messages and then come back fine i'm going to save this thing after saving this thing okay i'm going to minimize certain amount of options which are not needed okay and also closing this amount uh, this session after that mm, what we are going to do is so SQL has been installed let's see and try how it's going to uh, execute okay I'm also closing this window I'm minimizing this tab let's go to terminal you can see right now SQL developer though installed none of the icons are yet created but we will create in short time let's see go to terminal after going to terminal I'm typing it SQL developer anywhere wherever I like you can see the entire process has been started uh, this message is important one you are running to uh, you are attempting to run with this version running this product with minimum Java version of this and maximum version less than 1.8 we are having 1.8 so not a big deal update java set home and uh, uh, to, to point to another java this product will not be supported and may not run correctly if the process if you proceed continue anyway i'm going to click it yes and also click it uh, skip this message next time and then it starts loading for the first time after it gets loading uh, it will ask me where is the java installed mm, would you like to import the preferences i am saying no ok if it's uh, asking you for java preferences where is java you can uh, in order to continuously improve our product uh, you can see allow if you like it and if you do not like it you can just select but i am going to support oracle who does a great work for us people um, ok so click ok sometimes it happens that it will ask you for java over here java home because you might not have set the environment variable for java or java home or jre or path variables for java so let me show it to you where it's located um, java home because it will if you have installed with these steps with these steps it's obvious that the java home variable is not set because we have done that thing so in that case you need to set java home it will ask you or prompt you for java home so you just need to know the location for it uh, it's in user lib jvm and then java oracle fine this is java home so you just need to press ctrl l ctrl c or copy and then it, if it asks you where is it located just right click and paste it without making typing, mis typing mistakes and then the entire process will work 
smoothly so this is my oracle sql developer you can see it's so much cute and running very fine fine okay so you can establish connections from here by for your and with your server and everything you can do it from here itself okay so thing yeah i'm going to now create an icon i just forgot to create an icon so let's do it with these things i'm going to clear the screen uh, i'm going to cd usr share applications okay applications and ls okay so you can see these are the desktop uh, these are all the icons for all the softwares that are actually inbuilt over here so it doesn't matter uh, now we are going to create our own icon for that i will need closing this thing also minimizing this thing for that i need to sudo because it will require sudo rights gedit mm. I'm going for SQL developer dot desktop and pressing it enter. After that, one two three is my password. And with that thing, you can just copy and paste certain things. You can also pause this video again and type these things. Mind well, the capital small letters are much important over here. Uh, also verify the pa uh, path that actually exists over here. Uh, icon.png actually exists in this location or not let's see computer opt sql developer you can see icon.png is located over here so it's going to work uh, also along with that let's see how it's going to execute this is the command that actually it's going to execute from anywhere so the things i think uh, i think it should work from now I'm going to close this thing. I haven't saved it, but it will ask me for saving it. I'm going to save it. Hmm. Fine. So after saving this thing, still the icon will not appear. You can see it over here. Fine. Hmm. So what can we do for it? So let's update our desktop database. So for updating desktop database, it's sudo update. Uh, update uh, desktop database and press enter after updating desktop database it will now show you SQL developer SQL developer dot desktop let me pause for a minute just I don't know what the problem actually exists but if you will just mm, log out and log in come and come back it will just update it I don't know why it's not updating it over here you can see that's not updating but once you log out and log in it will work very fine okay thank you for watching my video and also I'm really grateful for all of you to take such a great time and look at my video. Do subscribe my uh, channel. I will be having lots more to say, uh, share with you all people. Thanks a lot. This is Neeraj.